Hey guys, it's Southern207. Yeah, I know, it's been a little spell since we last did a video update. Well, good news. The shed's up, as you can see. I'm now currently down, still down in Smithfield. And I'm currently in the last stages of getting the initial layout up. Things are going to be a little different than what I've shown in previous videos. Namely, the section right over here on my shoulder is one of the small router add-on pieces to this layout. If you're familiar with the Virginian Project layout, there was a addition piece done two or three years after the fact called the Thin Branch, T-H-I-N. Anyway, I built did in a six foot L shape. Well, I had it and I figured what the heck. I know right now it's still a mess. I'm still in the process of getting things set up, but so far I have done testing to see what's working and so far everything's still functional. Surprisingly, the last time this section was hooked up was almost five years ago. Which sadly, I was around the time frame my late grandmother passed. But as far as the lighting situation I was having, kind of surprising. I was doing some demo work for a family member at a construction site. And they asked payment, I got to pick what I wanted. Well, yep, LED strip lights, 24 volt. And each one's about 25 watt. Actually, maybe more because one has a 2.5 amp power supply. And it takes all it has to just light it up. In a second here, you guys will see what I mean. Mind you, this is a 2.5 amp power supply. you can see it brightens this up right up and these are commercial units so they're a little bit heavier brightness than what you're typically used to seeing I'm trying to get you guys a close-up so you can see but they're the nano LED lights real tiny LEDs and they're about 25 to the foot and this is in the 10k color range which after dark it's pretty bright in here as the time as the time of the recording it's 5 30 in the afternoon here in smithfield virginia and one of the things i gotta do before i can connect reins get the main loop back in operation which i got right here and yes, I got some repair work I know about. But before I can do that, got to get rid of the rat nest. Some of it's staying, some of it's gone. And as the, I don't know if any of you guys have seen these, Circuitron PS1, that's going to be the lighting for this section and that section. I got another one on this sec three or four foot section that's gonna power this half. That way, I don't have to worry about power. Anyway, I must try this coming Thursday to go back to our Inskill live chats, but that mainly depends on if I can get a Wi Fi router for out here. Currently, I'm using LG 4G da no, 4G data to record this because, unfortunately, I'm about 50 feet from 150 feet from the house, and unfortunately, the router is weak as crap, so it barely just covers the house. So I'm, it's going to be probably about five ten minutes prior to when I can actually upload this video 
But I'll try and do more and more of these updates here over the next couple weeks. I've just been swamped with m numerous things going on in my life. Biggest thing is getting sell back in. And as far as what's going on between me and the, my wife, I'm not going to go into it. It's a roller coaster at best. But such is life. But one of the things I am missing, if you guys do want to give me a hand, I'm actually on the lookout for wheel sets right now. That and a couple of replacement cars. Because I got one or two here that, unfortunately, were crushed. And when I say crushed, I'm talking body destroyed level. Such as that kind of damage. And also, guys, so you're aware, this is a new phone I'm using to record this on. It's a Samsung Galaxy S8. So yeah, things are slowly getting better for me. But we're, I'm definitely in need of help still. And also, if you guys want to, keep on hitting that subscribe button and hit that, ring that bell. So I'm going to try and get back to doing regular videos and possibly a couple how-tos on building switches because the way things are looking, this is only all temporary, guys. This layout is eventually going to go up for sale. Or, if somebody's interested and you're in, within the area of the Hampton Roads area of Virginia... Or northern North Carolina and are interested in purchasing this layout in a little future date which I'll let you guys know when it goes up for sale the command control stuff will not be going though and several other items are going to be staying solely because I don't have the mild deep pockets to replace it but it's gonna be coming Slowly but surely. So keep in touch. Southern Tears of an Out.